Good morning. Today we're here at Dollar General. We're going to go ahead and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, since we come into Dollar General here, I wanted to check out the milk. Uh, $3.30 here. Somebody, a uh, couple people had said that they haven't been finding milk in their Dollar General, so I wanted to check this out right away. $3.30 here uh, for the Clover Valley brand. We had also got a couple comments about the lactose-free Clover Valley milk. They do have it here. Been hearing that this has kind of been going out the door. It is $4.25 here, but at least they have it. They also have some of the silk almond milks here for $4.50. We've been getting a lot of comments lately on coffee creamers and half and half. They do have the Land O'Lakes here for $4. Clover Valley half and half for $3.50, so not much cheaper for this one. They do have a variety of the Clover Valley, French Vanilla, Hazelnut, Italian Sweet Cream, $3.25 for these, and some of the International Delights here for $4. So I am at a different Dollar General than we usually go to, but they have eggs here for $3.95. The other Dollar General I go to, they're $4.25, so a little cheaper here at this one. They do sell the Land of Frost here at this Dollar General, $3.25. This is only nine ounces though. So not as good of a deal as you're gonna get at like Walmart or something. They do have the double here. I like that, the ham and the uh, oven roasted turkey. They got some bologna, which is outrageously expensive, $4.50. Do have one here that's $3.50. Um, some different bacon options. Let's see, $5, what kind is that? Oh, that's the Smithfield. I don't know about that, $5.50. About the same price as it is everywhere. The sad thing is, is that for the armor bologna, which has always been like a dollar fifty, maybe two dollars, this is really starting to go up in price. Three twenty-five for these. They have the actual bologna here, two ninety-five, three dollars. That is crazy. Thank you, who told me about this Dollar General here. Um, we're a little further out than the one we usually go to, but this is a converted Walgreens. This used to be a Walgreens, much bigger Dollar General than I've ever been in before. Uh, and they got a lot more options too. They got some of the cordons here. Uh, some of the prices are a little high. $7.95 for the Parmesan crusted fish here. This is, uh, it was on sale at Kroger for $5.99. May have gone back up, not sure, but we do have some other, uh, let's see, the 10 fillets here, $7.95. This Dollar General has distilled water. I don't know if I've ever seen distilled water at the other Dollar General we go to. $1.75 though for one gallon. That's pretty expensive. I mean, at least they have it in and they've got some purified water there, which is the same price, $1.75. That's kind of a little high, but they do have the Clover Valley uh, Value 32 pack here, $5.75. It's not too bad on that, I guess. Now we get into some of the sales on like coffee and stuff. You do have to pretty much check every tag at Dollar General to see if you can get a deal or not. Now the um, Somebody asked about the Colombian Folgers here. This is a smaller container. This is the 19.2 ounces for $9.25. Same as the breakfast blend. Now the classic roast is uh, $9.25. And this is the 25.9 ounce. So that's a good deal. Wanted to point out they have these Cafe Pastellos. Now these are only the 6 ounces, right? 10 ounces at Aldi is $3.76. That's pretty much the cheapest that we've seen. But these are sale two for $6. So for $6, you would get 12 ounces, get two of these. It's still not as great of a deal, but you know, if you don't have an Aldi near you, or I can see where, you know, you would definitely want to buy two of these if you were going to get one. So you're not spending $3.65 on one of them. Uh, let's see. I tried the donut shop of this one. Here it is. Look at this, though. This is now $5 for 12 of these of the Clover Valley brand. This is not worth it. I, I will say it's okay. It's okay, but not for $5. I just feel like this is one of the cheapest coffees I've ever had. You know, the worst one that I've ever had is probably the Victor Allen coffee that you can get from either Ollie's or Big Lots. I do not like that coffee at all. I would pick this just over that one okay deals here on the Folgers. Usually these are like $9.95 at Kroger. 
Um, they actually have the half caffeine here too, $8.25. They do not have, uh, oh, wait, here's the Colombian. Here it is. Wow, they got these. I don't know why they just don't put this on one shelf. These are $8.25 too, but look at this. Uh, any Duncan or Folgers, buy two, save $1. So when they have Duncan over here, and these are $8.75, still a quarter cheaper than Kroger. And you can save a dollar if you buy two. I can see where you can make this work. And these are already regular price. Again, take a photo of that because, you know, I, this is $1.75 cheaper than pretty much everywhere I've seen. So, um, but yeah, yeah, they got the big uh, Folgers down here too. Part of that buy two, save a dollar also. It's good. Somebody had said they weren't able to find the Jimmy Dean breakfast bowls. You know, they've been kind of low in the stores lately. They do have them at Dollar General here, $3.75. They also have these biscuit roll-ups, which I haven't seen anywhere in a long time. $6.95 for these, eight count. They've got the four count of the cress or, uh, croissants here for $6.95. Also the biscuits for $6.95. And ooh, look at this. This Dollar General definitely has things that our other one doesn't. I remember somebody asking about the good smart almond butter that they sell at Dollar General. I haven't seen this at our other one. $4.50. Almond butter is always a little more expensive, but the big 28 ounce, not the big one, but the medium 28 ounce of Peter Pan peanut butter, $4. You can see where this was $3.50 before. Uh, so that has gone up 50 cents. So we had gotten a comment about Clover Valley ketchup. Somebody said it was really good. They actually compared it to Heinz ketchup. I don't know about that, but it is a dollar uh, for 24 ounces. That's a pretty good deal. And this big one here, Clover Valley, 64 ounces for $3.50. Looks like it used to be $3. But if this is anything like Heinz ketchup, that's a pretty good deal. They do have the 38 ounce things of Heinz ketchup here, but they are $4.50. Um, you can see where it used to be $3.75, I guess. But there is a coupon. Instantly save $2 when you spend $8 on Kraft Heinz condiments. Okay, so if you bought two of these, you would save $2. So that makes it an okay deal. Lots of gaping holes here at this Dollar General. But I kind of expected it because this store is so huge. So I didn't, you know, and I mean, if it looks like this at Kroger, chances are it's going to look like this anywhere. Um, some deals on cereal, two for $6. Now we saw... Some sales on the buy five or more deal at Kroger uh, for $1.99 for regular size boxes of cereal. So you have to look into that, see where they scratch this one off. That's what I'm talking about. You got to pay attention to everything. I don't know if this is worth $3.50. Um, we can usually find sales on a lot of different cereal. One thing I do love about Dollar General is you can still find things for a dollar from time to time. They have the Star Kiss Chunk Light Tuna, regular run-of-the-mill tuna here. Uh, let's see, same size, four ounces drained, one dollar. Uh, the cheapest other place that we've seen is a dollar fourteen a can at Walmart. Everywhere else been getting pretty high. Somebody asked about the Hormel chili the other day. They do have the one with, or this is the turkey with beans for $2.50. $2.65 for the cans with no beans. It's about the same price as everywhere. They do have the Clover Valley here. Don't know anything about this. $2. Uh, and somebody asked about the Sweet Sioux Chicken and Dumplings. Uh, it's been a little while. $3.65 a can seems a bit much. Uh, these have always been $2.99. Looks like they've gone up. They, I can't see what that tag was before here at Dollar General, but I know my, I know at Meyer, these were $2.79 for the longest time. But I believe they went up there too, but they haven't had them in a while. They do have the Clover Valley 10 ounces of the chicken breast, $3.45. Now they have the uh, 12 and a half ounce can of Swanson for $4. This stuff's been going up like crazy. Regular price at Kroger for one of these, $5.99, which is insane. I don't understand why it's that high. It is on uh, the buy five or more deal this week, though, for $2.99. So once you get up to five or more products, that, that Swanson will be $2.99. That's a good deal. Look at this. Tuna Creations, $1.75 here. We saw where they went up to $1.69 at Kroger. So I don't know. We get a lot of comments on those tuna creations. They are on a rollback offer at Walmart for a dollar a pack, so keep that in mind. They still have the Idahoan potatoes here for a dollar twenty. 
Okay, now this is something I would definitely take a photo of, take up to the register with you, because we've been seeing these go up in price. They're $1.50 now at Meyer and Kroger. Good regular price on the Campbell's Chunky. They don't have many. There's not much variety here. Um, I mean, they've got a few. They are $2.15 regular price. Another one I would probably take a photo of. Uh, these are three for five dollars this week at Kroger, though. So keep that in mind. Two dollars and fifty cents for Progressive Soup. Um, same price as it is regular price at Kroger. Uh, sometimes we can find a sale on it. So I'm going to be honest with you. I tried one of these Clover Valley chicken noodle soups. I did not like it at all. It's a dollar. We had some good comments on it, so I tried it. I didn't care for it. Uh, they do have the condensed soup, which I never tried for a dollar. Uh, the tomato soup and the regular chicken noodle, uh, they are 30% bigger, but they're $1.35 a can. So a little more now. These were $1.25 a can, now they're $1.35. And the chicken with rice is $1.95. $1.89 at Kroger for the 10.5 ounce can. This one is 30% bigger, $1.95. So, I mean, I would probably rather get this one, but still way too expensive. I did point these out the other day, but somebody had asked about pinto beans. They do have the one pound pinto beans for a dollar and four pounds for five dollars. So not bad here. Um, you might as well get these though and get five pounds for, I don't know, that's weird. Four pounds for five dollars or one pound for one dollar. So you can get five pounds for five dollars if you just buy them individually. They also have the great northern beans down there, two pounds for three dollars and fifty cents. So I was looking at the spaghetti here. Someone actually requested I check out the Clover Valley spaghetti. It is a dollar, still a dollar for 16 ounces, but definitely something I would take a photo on because the two pound one is 225. So why wouldn't you just buy two of these? Wanted to check out some of the pet food while we were here and it is a little more expensive than we've seen pretty much everywhere else. They do have the gravy train in, which we can never really find anymore. Dollar 15 a can, that's about the cheapest I've seen in a while. Pedigree here, the smaller cans for $1.95, the six packs for $10.75, that seems a bit much. They are pretty low on bagged dog food, dry dog food. Um, kind of, you know, I didn't really expect it to be this low at Dollar General. Usually it's this low at Kroger or a bigger grocery store, but normally a dollar, our other Dollar General is usually pretty good on dog food at least looking at the cat food they don't have too much dry but look at this tidy cats this is the lightweight here but sixteen dollars and 75 cents that's crazy they do have the bermuda tides sent here the forever pals which is ten dollars we've gotten some good comments on that one they've got some of the fresh step here it's 14 pounds though in the box for 12.75 i mean that just that seems like way too much they do have some meow mix they don't have any of the smaller bags Let's see, these are $11.95, and they are just 10 pounds. 10 pounds of cat food for $12. Oof. They do have the smaller bags of the items here, though. And they, uh, they got a coupon on here, $1.50 off. One items dry cat food, three only three pounds, $9.50. You can see where this was $9 before. They put $9.50 over it. But $1.50 off, make it $8. A little bit of a better deal. And this is kind of expensive. Uh, pretty much everywhere they do have the purina one here for eight dollars and 25 cents and these are 2.8 pounds each i assume they were three pounds at one time and they knocked a little bit out to maybe keep the price lower i really don't know little more expensive on the wet cat food uh, they do have the nine lives for 70 cents that seems to be the going price everywhere 70 cents for nine lives pretty much no matter where we go but fancy feast 95 cents is a little higher uh, the normal here and dollar twenty-five for the Sheba packets. These were ninety-four cents at Walmart, so keep that in mind. Um, and Friskies here, eighty-five cents, about five cents higher than pretty much everywhere. I did find this clearance rack here. Um, this is interesting. It's a pretty big clearance rack. Lots of vitamins. Um, don't know much about these. Something for anxiety and stress. Yeah, there we go. Uh, $10.50. Let me know down in the comments if that's a good deal. Doesn't sound like much of one. Uh, $6 here for lysine. Wow. We got more anxiety and stress relief. Uh, what is this? Cinnamon? Cinnamon. Okay, $6. 
cinnamon tablets. I don't know, lots of vitamins. They got some some uh, tire cleaner here for $3. Doesn't seem like they're that great a deal, to be honest with you. Uh, Wet Jet here, Swifter for $6. Mr. Clean, that might be an okay deal. Again, let me know down in the comments if you see anything here that's a good deal. Uh, let's see, toothpaste. This is that, um, whoops, this is that 3D white charcoal. Removes up to 90% of service stains. Uh, $4.70 don't seem like much of a clearance on that. I think those are usually right around $5 regular price. I did find this Castrol oil here, which is usually pretty expensive. I think I've seen it for right around $5.99 to $6.99. This is $4.90 here. They've only got one, though. Um, they don't have a price on this mobile one. Hey, look at this. They got a small bag of the Meow Mix. Don't know if this goes here though, because there is no price on it. Same issue with aluminum foil. Been getting a lot of comments on this one lately. There are two rolls. One, two. And this is the Dollar General Home brand. Looks like it is $2.25 for the smaller one here, and then $3.75 for the bigger one. This is 100 square feet. Wow, that's, that's a pretty decent deal. Wanted to check out some of these sponges and stuff. Looks like a lot of the prices have gone up on these things and they are wiped out. They've got some sponges, but not much of the little things. They got some of this stuff up here, which I mean, this is stuff we usually get at like Dollar Tree for $1.25. This is where Dollar Tree really shines because some of this stuff, I mean, Scotch Bright, I know, is a little more expensive. $3.75 for that. But yeah, I don't know. It seems, oh, okay, well, they got the Scotch Bright uh, things here. the dish rags, dish cleaner sponges for two dollars. thought it was a dollar. Those are the ones that are a dollar. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody left a comment saying that they spent almost three dollars on a thing of Glade the other day. Glade. Now Glade, as we all know at Walmart, it's like 97 cents, or it used to be. I haven't checked on it in a long time. But I wanted to show you here at Dollar General, they do have them for a dollar. That one's in the wrong place. Uh, but they still have them for a dollar here. Wanted to check out some of the baking option stuff here. We got the self-rising flour, the Clover Valley brand for two dollars. The gold medal all-purpose flour for fifty. It's about the same price as it is everywhere now. We've been seeing that go up. Got the Bisquick pancake and baking mix here for five fifty. That's gone up. That was five dollars last time I was at uh, Dollar General. And the Jiffy corn muffin mix has gone up too. These were 65 cents, now they're 75 cents. They are out of a lot of stuff. They do have some spices, and a lot of them are still a dollar. Uh, most of them are still a dollar. They don't have as many spices uh, as the other Dollar General we go to, though. Uh, and they could just be out of a lot of them. I don't really know. Some of the more expensive ones here. Hey, they got the Lowry Salt, uh, $3.25 for that. They don't have the bigger one, though. Uh, somebody mentioned they have the big one at Sam's Club. Haven't found it at our Sam's Club in a while, but I will check next time we go. Look at this. Somebody asked about this. Almond extract. Haven't been able to find any of this lately. They do have it here, and this is $5. They do have their four-pound bags of sugar for $2.85. Um, that is up from $2.65. They've got the small things of the Crisco shortening here for $4. Uh, this is the 16-ounce. Not much when it comes to cooking oils. They have these little small things of cooking oil here. 16 ounce for $1.75. Might as well get the 48 ounce for $3.30. These were $2.95. And they've gone up to $3.30. All they have is the vegetable oil. They do have some of these Pompeian. $9.50 for that. Yeah, I mean, you know, if, if everything going up. I mean, I'm not surprised. Uh, let's see. They're out of the Marzula. Marzola oil here, and that went up to five dollars. That was four fifty. So this is pretty random, but I wanted to talk about these for a second because we haven't found these stand and stuff uh, kits here. The old El Paso. Somebody asked about this. It's been a while. Um, we haven't seen these in a while. We will see like just the tacos and everything, but this is the actual kit that somebody asked about here. Three dollars and twenty-five cents. Actually, an okay deal on this. We've been seeing these for four dollars wanted to show this here we're always getting comments on the quaker oatmeal i don't see any of the uh just, oh here they are quick oats this is all they have though four dollars for that um the clover valley oats if they had them were three dollars but the mix and match packets here the maple brown sugar eight packets 
$3.25. Regular price at Kroger for these is $3.69. So a little bit of a better deal here. Okay, so the only oat and honey bars that they have of the Nature Valley is the big 24 pack here, $6.45 for that. One thing I wanted to point out, if you remember my Kroger video on the buy five or more, it was 12 bars, but really it's it's six packs with two in each pack. One thing I wanted to mention, I don't know if anybody knew this, but the bars have shrunk in size. They used to be about as long as my hand, two of them in a pack. Now they're about that long and about that wide. So keep that in mind. Major shrinkflation on the Nature Valley bars here. And the thing that kills me is for, for 12 of them, or, you know, uh, see, this is 12 packs. It'll say 12 on the other one, but it'll be six two-bar pouches. The thing that kills me about that is they are $4.29 for the six-pack of two in a pack, and they're that small. So not only have they raised the price to where it's too expensive, but they've shrunk the product. Now, I got them on the buy five or more save a dollar each deal, which actually brought the price down to $1.99, which is okay, but I did not know how small they got. Well, that was our trip to Dollar General. I like this store. It's a lot bigger. I kind of like the converted Walgreens uh, look to it. It's a lot brighter. The lights are a lot brighter. The aisles are bigger. You can walk, you know, two people can walk in an aisle and not bump carts. I mean, that's pretty nice. And, you know, it's, uh, it's nice. It's nice and clean. Things are organized. The employees here are awesome. They're very helpful, uh, very nice people. Um, as far as like some of the sales go, what I recommend, because there's always so many little things going on at Dollar General and online with digital coupons, you always want to pick up an ad as soon as you walk into Dollar General and kind of just look at the ad because sometimes it's easier just looking at this than looking at every little sticker to see. Like they have the uh, they got the coffee thing on there with the Folgers and a couple other random sales on pop and laundry detergent and just, you know, some random things. And, you know, this comes out on a week to week basis. So, you know, these prices on this are probably going to be correct. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember the adventure is out there.